coming up to winter is the perfect time to start thinking about tidying up your garden. All the flowers have died back and the vegetation is becoming a bit overgrown, but it's also the optimal time to take advantage of that extra vegetation and I'm going to show you what you can do with it. We all spend a lot of time in our gardens raking up leaves, but rather than disposing of it in garden waste, actually what we can do is we can use it as habitat in our garden. So picking up your leaf piles and putting it in a secluded part of the garden so it's out of the way, provides really good homes for insects and small mammals. And you never know, you might even get a hedgehog. You can also take advantage of any pruning that you did earlier in the year or any branches or sticks that might have been blown down during high winds. And all you need to do is simply cut them to roughly the same size and pop them in a nice neat pile underneath a hedgerow or anywhere else in the garden where you've got a bit of habitat, long grass or next to a pond. And this will provide the perfect home as well for all those insects that might be wanting to overwinter. When you're preparing your beds for the winter, you might also be digging over the soil and find quite large stones in the ground or dotted around the garden. And you can make a quite simple rockery. It doesn't need to be anything complicated, just a nice stable pile of rocks can do. But it doesn't even just have to be rocks. Using stuff like broken tiles or bits of rubble work just as well. One little tip from me, my perfect little habitat is creating one of these, using an old broken pot, sunk and dug into the ground, and just pop it in there and push the soil in around. And over the springtime, this will grow up nicely and it's the perfect little home for a frog or a toad. So there are a few easy ways to incorporate making some wildlife shelters into your annual clear up in the winter time. And if you do decide to build some shelters, then let us know by visiting the Avon Wildlife Trust web pages and adding it to our interactive map, or sending us a picture via hashtag MyWildCity.